Okay, so this is a question about the differences between percentage points and percentage reduction or percentage increase or any sort of percentage change. The question is, in 1996, Sweden actually finally decided to change the amount of tax that you pay on your food um, stuff. So just for food stuff, it used to have a tax rate which was the standard tax rate in Sweden of 25%. But they decided that food stuffs is pretty essential and it should have a lower tax rate. It actually became 12% and it's the same rate that we're paying today. So all items of food that we buy in Sweden we are paying 12% tax on. And the price that we pay in the top already has that, in the shop already has that 12% in, um, given to us. So the question is, what is the percent, question A is, what's the percentage point reduction? Well, when we're looking at percentage point, we're just looking at what did we go from and what did we go to? So we went from 25% to 12%. So we've got a reduction and then we absolutely do nothing at all with the percentage except subtract 25 minus 12. So we reduced by percentage points the reduction is 13 percentage points. And in Swedish that's called percenten here. Okay? So 30, 30, you just take the one uh, percentage, the 25%, take away 12 and the a number of percentage points, it's just how many parts out of 100 did we actually do a reduction of. We reduced it by 13 parts out of 100, 13 percentage points. But then the next question is, how large was the reduction in percentage? And now we have to do our standard formula for percentage change, where we have, remember our tree, that the percentage change is the difference divided by the original. Percentage change is always calculated by taking the difference got divided by what it was originally, original percentage, the difference in percent divided by, in this case, the original percentage, and then to change it to percent, we multiply it by 100. This, this form, the difference divided by the original, will give us the decimal form. We don't want the decimal form for percentage. We want to get it as percentage. We multiply the decimal form by 100 to get percentage. So the difference in percentage here is that we started with 25 and we changed it to 12, divided by the original price, which was 25, multiplied by 100. So here we'll get 13 divided by 25 times 100. The easiest way to change um, 13 25ths into hundredths is to multiply top and bottom here by 4. 13 times 2 will give us 26, 26 doubled will give us 52 hundredths times 100 will give us 52%. 52%. So the percentage reduction or the percentage change, percentage of reduction is 52%. We've approximately halved the rate of VAT, which is exactly what we can see we've done. We had a VAT rate of 25%. We've halved it, or just more than halved it, to 12 So we would expect the percentage reduction to be 52%. So points is just the change in percentage, which is this 25 minus 12, the difference. And you can see that that's actually what we're using as part of our percentage calculation as well. So percentage change compared with percent percentage points that's how you do it